Here's how to achieve a video delay using a Mac computer. The main piece of software we'll be using for this is Apple's own QuickTime Broadcaster. Do a quick search for that on Google, download and install, and when we open it in Applications, QuickTime Broadcaster. Here we are presented with a little preview of my uh, source input. I'm using a little webcam, external webcam here, so I can put it wherever I want. You could use the standard webcam attached to your Mac laptop or whatever you wish. Um, you want to click on show details so you can set up this personally. Um, you've got your audio and video settings here just for the quality. Um, if we were broadcasting this across the internet we'd want it to be a lower quality so that people could watch it well with poor internet connections and such. These aren't too important to us because we're not going to be using the internet for this. Um, video settings, you see, preset DSL cable. I leave them as they are, you can play around with them later to try and get a better quality video through. The important settings are in network, where you want preset custom, transmission, manual unicast, and the, the address, the IP address, is 127.0.0.1. And that's the local host address, so that's referring back to this same computer. You could put in the IP address of a computer on your local network if you wanted to submit it to another laptop, for instance. Um, but in this case, we're probably not connected to the internet if we're out in the field competing or training. Uh, your audio port and video port, leave them as they are, they're standard. And your buffer delay, you can change how long it takes for the video to be output. Um, and that's it for the settings. You want to then click Broadcast. And there we are, it's broadcasting now. In order to watch this on the output, we need to go to QuickTime Broadcaster File Export SDP. And I'm just going to leave that as untitled.sdp. Uh, Saving it to my desktop. Export. And there we are, it's appeared up in the top right. Now you should be able to double click that file and open it in QuickTime Player. Uh, that didn't work for myself, so it might not with you. Um, so I'm using a piece of software called VLC, Video LAN. If you do a search for VLC in Google, um, download this software. It's really great, it'll let you play any form of video or audio. Uh, it's free as well, that's always useful. So it'll definitely open in VLC, double click, there we are, it's opening up, make that full screen, now we can see what my little webcam's looking at, whoa, and there we are, you can uh, pause and play if you like.